Now, here let's discuss the natural response of a multi degree of freedom system, such as the system shown over here. We have three masses connected by springs attached to a fixed support. Uh, we have three degrees of freedom in this system, and uh, we need to derive the natural response of this system for the three masses shown. Uh, now, such a system is known as multi-degree of freedom system or uh, more commonly known as multi-mode systems. find out why it's called multi-mode systems through our analysis. Now, to start with, we need to derive the equations of motion of this system using any of the methods explained earlier, whether Newtonian approach or Lagrangian or energy uh, approaches. Uh, now, um, we know that the result uh, will be a set of coupled differential equations that cannot be solved separately. So for example, for this system, if we uh, use the Newtonian approach, the motion is uh, along one axis, so it's much easier to use the Newtonian approach. Uh, the Free body diagrams for the three masses can be uh, described as three masses with spring forces connecting the masses. We have here K1, X1 spring force, over here K2. X2 minus X1, whether this force or the opposite force. And here we have K3 and the difference in the two motions X3 minus X2 for these two opposite forces. So now the first equation of motion for mass 1 will be uh, sum of forces using Newtonian approach for the first mass we have negative k1 x1 plus k2 x2 minus x1 equals sum of forces equals ma which is mass 1 and the acceleration of mass 1 since the motion of mass 1 is x1 will be x1 double dot for the second mass we will have negative k2 x2 minus x1 and positive k3 x3 minus x2 equals the mass 2 times its acceleration which is m2 and the acceleration is x2 double dot and finally the third uh, equation of motion for mass 3 is negative k3 x3 minus x2 equals m3 x3 double dot and we can rearrange these equations as uh, m1 x1 double dot we have a set of three equations here um, plus k1 x1 plus k2 x1 so k1 
plus k2 x1 and then k2 x2 is negative k2 x2 equals 0 and for the second equation m2 x2 double dot um, and then the terms multiplying x1 will be negative negative is positive go to the other side will be negative k2 x uh, x1 and then for x2 we will have k2 x2 and k3 x2 so it will be plus k2 plus k3 x2 and then negative k3 x3 equals 0 and finally for the third equation m3 x3 double dot uh, minus minus to the other side would be minus k3 x2 and k3 x3 minus to the other side would be plus k3 x3 is 0. So now these are the set of three differential equations or equations of motion of the system. Now I will put these equations in matrix form such uh, we will have an inertia matrix multiplying vector x1 double dot x2 double dot x double dot plus a stiffness matrix times x1 x2 x3 equals a zero matrix we have m1 x1 double dot and nothing for x2 double dot and x3 double dot so we have 0 and 0 in the second equation we have only x2 double dot multiplying m2 0 0 and for the third equation we have 0 0 m3 now, the first equation, x1 is multiplied by k1 plus k2. x2 is multiplied by negative k2. And there's no x3, so that's 0. In the second equation, x1 is multiplied by negative k2. x2 is multiplied by k2 plus k three and x three is multiplied by negative k three and in the third equation there's no x one so that's zero x two is multiplied by negative k three and x three is multiplied by k three now this is the system in a matrix form this is now as the inertia matrix or M and this is the stiffness matrix K. Now um, the vector x1, x2, x3 I will refer to this vector as Q vector which is the vector of 
degrees of freedom or coordinates of the system. So I can write this equation as um, matrix M times the vector Q second derivative plus K and vector Q equals the zero vector. I've just stuck with it for sync degree freedom system. I will assume a natural undoubt response for each one of these degrees of freedom as a harmonic response such as x1 is some amplitude x1 times harmonic response at some frequency omega assuming that the system will respond at this frequency and some phase angle phi and the same goes for x2 except that the amplitude is different cosine omega t plus phi and for x3 is x3 cosine omega t plus phi now again writing this response uh, as vector response the vector x1 x2 x3 is q vector is equal and I will call this capital X vector, the vector of amplitudes of responses, times the scalar cosine omega t plus phi. So now this is the equivalent of these three assumed responses. And I need to substitute this assumed response into the equation of motion here or set of equations of motion uh, Q double dot is X is a set of amplitudes these are uh, scalars so it would be the vector X and the derivative of the cosine function the second derivative will be uh, negative omega squared times cosine omega t plus phase angle t. Now I can substitute these into the equations of motion right here.